first of all, we thank the director for coming to Hong Kong. And also we thank the audience for coming to the screening of uh, Senan Abestu Disasters, which is uh, the first film in our tribute to um, the works of Mr. Hara Katsu. Okay, so after this film, there are two more screenings on uh, two of Harasan's uh, earlier works, okay. um, The Naked, The Empress Naked, Abi Marchand from 1987, and then uh, Private, uh, Eagle's Disaster, uh, Love Song, 1974. Okay. So, um, so we have um, a Q and A here, and uh, I think I'm going to warm the house with questions about Parasan's uh, approach to documentary cinema. Okay, and then uh, I will leave a uh, question about more specific question about this particular movie. Okay, for to the audience. Okay, so. Uh, Shall we begin? Okay, we begin. Uh, Haras, uh, I understand that you started your career as an assistant director, even to people like Ima Mula Sohe. Okay, so I'd like to know how did you get into documentary filmmaking, and uh, I also like in relation to this film, I like to know your evolution. Okay, in your approach to documentary filmmaking, because this film seems a little different in approach from your previous works, okay, including the two works that we are going to see later on in this program. Okay. Sorry, uh, actually, I've never been an assistant director of Mr. Shohei Imamura. Sorry, I've never been an assistant director of Mr. Shohei Imamura. I've never been an assistant director of Mr. Shohei Imamura. I've never been an assistant director of Mr. 私にとっては、とてつもなく面白かったんです。だ、その影響はすごく大きいです。so actually, um, not a movie director, but this TV documentary director uh, who's very famous, Mr. Soichiro Tahara. I'm not sure if uh, the people here knows about it, but uh, in uh, Japan. And then so I saw his uh, um, the, the, the piece of work, the documentary, and it was very, very interesting for me. So that's why uh, I started to you know, go start the documentary uh, uh, field. 私がなぜドキュメンタリーをやるようになったかと言いますと私は写真家になろうとしてて私の最初の写真展を銀座の二コンサロンというところで開催したんですそこに一人の少女のような人女性が見に来ててその人は私に声をかけたんですその人は身体
beginning that uh, because of sh uh, she asked me favor to do together so I did it and actually she later became my wife and then <laughs> why it happened because she was at that time looks very very little it like, looks like a, just a, like a girl like a middle school girl and she was very pretty so that's why I said yes okay I can help you so that was the beginning <laughs> and then second question huh そのこう主人公として何て言いますか、ひどい政治をするようになって、奥崎さんのように自由に生きられるというような生き方をする人がいなくなった。つまり私が取りたいと思うような主人公はいなくなっちゃったんですよね。とりあえずそこまでします。uh, yes, uh, that's right. My previous uh, four films uh, were uh, quite different from this film because um, all these uh, films, the main uh, character, the, the uh, people who are uh, uh, taking the main role is all uh, somebody who's very strong inside and uh, kind of like edgy and kind of very um, edgy way to, to live their own style, to live a life, that kind of people. So actually, um, all these four films I made, it took like 30 some years. Then I was after that, okay, I will continue to do it this way. So I look look for another, those strong, edgy kind of person. So I, I look, look, look for it for 10 years, but I couldn't find another, you know, that kind of person anymore. Well, how come, why? I'm looking so much and why I cannot find it. Then my conclusion is, ah, because the era of Showa in, in Japan, we were in the Showa era and now it's Heisei era, it's a different era. So Showa era is finished already. So now it's a totally different era now. The atmosphere of society, structure, all different. So in Showa era, it's still those people who are kind of strong and edgy, they are going their own way, kind of people have the room to still can survive, can do their own way. But now it's a different time. So um, those uh, uh, power, government, authority, is, is really have a much stronger power to sort of oppress and not to leave the room for those people who do their own way. So they're more like stronger to control the people. So that's why um, I cannot really find a person like uh, uh, Mr. Okuzaki, who is in a, you know, the, the one of the, my my uh, documentary film before. No more of those people. That was my realization. それで、え、その主人公がいなくなったもんだから、え、何を撮っていいかわからないという自分の中の、なんて言いますか、根迷期が10年ぐらい続いて、自分が映画を作ることに飢えてたと思うんですよ。その時にテレビのプロデューサーがこのアスベストの人たちを撮ってみないかって言われてアスベストのこと何も知らないんだけれども撮ってみないかっていう撮ることのチャンスがあるだけでやりますって言っちゃったんですでそれからやりますと言った
Then, uh, so those are 10 years of confusion time. Then after that, I, I, I'm really, really eager to you know, sh uh, shoot another film. I wanted to make another film, but no chance. Then it happened to be I got this offer, kind of like a, uh, some suggestion from this uh, TV uh, station people. The people from TV um, approached me, and then they asked, do you have interest in this uh, issue about asbest, uh, asbest um, uh, disaster? So this kind of uh, situation is going on, the issue is going on. So do you think you have interest in shooting about this? So he said, uh, I have no idea, about, I have no idea whatsoever about this asbestos. But yes, I will do it because he really, you know, desperate that he really wanted to make something new. So uh, he got this grab this opportunity and he started to meet those uh, people who was the actual victim of this asbestos uh, 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 problem, and then uh, one by one he meet, then he really realized that they are very ordinary people, not like those, uh, his previous uh, main role, those very edgy, very strong, not that kind of people. So he started to feel like, oh my gosh, can I make any interesting film out of this? So he, he asked himself like, should I do this or not? You know, he has, has to go into this sort of dark hole of, is that really right? それで現場であの私カメラを回しながらなんでこの人たちはあの怒らないのかってつまり権力にあの政府ガバメントに対してお願いしますっていう態度の人たちでしょところが本当はお願いするんじゃなくて怒らないといけないでなぜこの人たち
今の日本がまさにこういう姿なんで、えー、時代を忠実に、えー、記録する、えー、映像の力っていうことを信じているまず私が。はい Okay. Yes,、uh, actually, I really believe that documentary is、uh, supposed to, to、um, really make the record of that、uh, the, the era or that time,、uh, including the atmosphere, what kind of atmosphere the society had at that time. So, it's really、uh, exactly want to record it. So, that was my、uh, theory, and then that's、uh, my idea of.、Uh, Why I make documentary, or that's the way that how I want to make the documentary film. So,、um, the,、uh, the previous、uh, film, like Emperor's、uh, Things, that Mr. Ok Okuzaki's main character, that one is in the era of Showa. So, at that time, that type of person was there and he did that kind of activity. So, that I really make a record of that. But now it's a different time. It's a,、uh, now it's Heisei era, it's different. More, as I mentioned, those、uh, press, uh, oppression. Uh, or control of the government is getting more stronger, and then those uh, people uh, oppressed down is sort of really like a struggling. And that is the current situation. That's how I feel. So, that I really want to record exactly that situation. So, that's why I made this film in this approach. So, I really believe that the power of the,、uh, the, the film has those like a strong record, sort of like a you know, record the history of what's going on. So, that's I feel that. that Uh, film has, documentary film has that power.、Um, and I'd like to ask the question about、um, the documentary itself playing an active role, like in、uh, Harasan's previous works. Okay.、Uh, the camera is an active element, it makes things happen, it confronts people. Okay. In this film, it's more observation,、uh, which leads us to a question of. Ethics, okay, the ethics of documentary filmmaking. How active should the camera be? Okay,、uh, in the 70s, the theatrical cinema of Mr. Hara, I think, has in a way has maybe been exploited in a way by television,、uh, newsreels.、Okay. Uh, all news journalists understand that if you go shoot a scene like in, in Gaza, okay, you go there and people will start throwing stones, okay, because people ask for the camera, okay. Uh, how do you see that? Okay, is there still a possibility for documentaries to be active and not becoming just reactive? ですね。やりあって。っていうのがあったんですけど、あの、今回のフィルムとしてはどっちかと考察してるというか、そういう感じに見えたんですね。そういう意味でそのドキュメンタリーのあるべくあるべき姿というか、としてはそのどれぐら
だからもうなすすべがなくてその入れなくて要するにもう手の打ちようがないじゃないですかだから今回の人たちはいや要するに普通の人だっていう言い方を私はしますけど普通の人たちの持っている生き方そのものを、えー、私はこの作品を通してあんたたちそういう生き方でいいのかっていう,なんていうの日本人をこれでいいのかっていうことをなんか映画のメッセージとして作るしかなかった。だから一見遠慮してるように見えますけれども遠慮してるわけじゃなくて今までの映画と違うのはその撮られる側の何て言うんでしょうかここだけは守るっていう意識が今回の人強いじゃないですかそこでその限界を破れなかったわけです私はでもそれはあの映画をその結果何が見えてきたかっつったらば今あの平成の今日本という国はえー、戦後最悪の総理大臣が今政治をやってて戦後民主主義は全部ぶち壊そうとしてますでそれでもその、えー、そういう政府を、えー、民衆がこう怒らないという弱点を持ってるとあるいは無関心の人が多いとかそういうことに対する、えー、今回の映画はまさにそういう日本人の自画像というものを結果としてね映し,映し出したというそういう映画だなというふうに私自身は捉えています。はい、大丈夫ですか。<笑>複雑です。<笑><笑>はい。Okay. Actually,、uh, my preference of how to make my uh, uh, sort of how to uh, uh, use my camera is I always、uh, consider that、uh, camera. Is, is a, a sort of camera and me is as one completely. Like, I, I, my,、uh, my eye is camera's eye. Camera, eye,、uh, my eye, and my body is all one together. And through that, I, I see in, deep inside of that, that, that person's uh, and mind, uh, uh, the state of the mind. And then to really go inside and really、um, see the person's real emotion. Staying there, or their own real desire staying there deep inside. So that's how I, how I want to do t h a t s my ideal way to how to do it. But for this time, as I mentioned already, those people, the victims of the、uh, asbestos, they are the quite common people, quite regular people. So usually,、um, people, regular people, common people like, like us, Usually, we keep our own privacy. We have our own part of very private part, which doesn't really show to everybody. So, they are the people who are common people, ordinary people. So, different from who I, was, I shot before. Those people who I shot before, like、uh, Mr. Okuzaki,、like, they're ready to be shot. Even their private part, whatever, they already know that I'm going to shoot it and they are ready for that. So, that was okay. They can just show whatever, disclose everything for me. So I could shoot it the way that I want to do it. But this time, they are very ordinary, common people.、Um, they unfortunately didn't let me come into that much like, in their private range. They couldn't. I tried, but they couldn't.、Uh, they didn't. So that's why I, I, it's not like a, I was sort of like n o t so actively a p p r o a c h I was like a little bit.、Um, You know, back down. No, I did, but because they are common people, so their way of living is different from who I was handling or dealing with before. So, as a result, actually,、um, I think in this film, I could sort of ask the question that、uh, that's how Japanese people now in the Heisei era. So,、um, is, that, is that okay? Like, everybody is like this. And then,、uh, Okay, so I really believe that now the Japanese、uh, political situation is really bad. I, I dare to say that、um, the、uh, Prime Minister now is really the worst Prime Minister after the World War, well, after the World War II, and he is the one that who really like trying to、um, destroy the, the, the democracy system that we, we 
get after the World War II. So um, I think uh, now, uh, uh, although this is a situation I see, but people, common people, uh, really don't get upset about this situation, and or they just so uh, ignorant or indifferent. So this is a situation that how Japanese people in Heisei era is, like sort of self-portrait of Japanese people. That's what I think as a result, I did it in this film. That's how I am thinking. Okay, uh, allow me to continue with my thing of thought because I thought uh, there's a saying about uh, photographers as well as documentary filmmakers is like that uh, if your work is not good enough, it's because you're not close enough. So I'd like to ask Mr. Hara, how close does he want to be? Is it the, the previous films are very close. This one is more distance. Uh, um, but also the previous films are the subject matter is one person. Okay, is a is a character that you that the camera can get into. Like Mr. Hara was saying, but with this film, it's more like an issue oriented film. Okay, um, the protagonist of the film is an is the issue. Okay, there are people that are involved. Okay, so. Is that uh, how would the camera works? Okay, uh, to be to get close to the people, or to get how do you get close to a person? That's different from how do you want gets close to an issue which has impact on a group of people. Which is the impact? The, uh, on. A, to make a documentary film on an issue, and when the issue has quite an impact on a group of people, it's not on one individual, but on an issue. Whereas the issue affects a lot of people. Okay, so if uh, put it in another way, is on an individual or on an issue? Keep yes, the, the, the previous films are about people. Right. This film is about an issue. Right. Okay, so is there a difference in the in, in in for the camera to get close? Really physical camera you're talking about, not the approach, but the camera itself. Uh, no, the approach. Okay, just get very very close. Okay. <laughs> 距離があれば、そんなにいいものはできないと に対する当時、どっちの、どちらの方がよりなんかこう、インパクトがあるっていうところ え、つまりなんて言うだろう。入り込んでいく。え、だけど、守るのかということは何て言うんでしょうか8年時間をかけることによって明らかにする 
だからあの戦乱の裁判闘争というものが、まあ、大前提としてあるでしょこの映画は。で普通日本の中で裁判闘争というと闘争者というジャンルの中でもうありきたりのものというふうに見られると、えー、私はしかしだからといってそれを逃げるんではなくて闘争というものがどういう,うなんていうか一人一人のこの裁判闘争に参加した人たちの中に影響を与えるかっていうことはきちんと逃げないで描くと。でそこで終わっちゃダメだとでそれ以上に二十、えー、何人の人がいつ,いつも積極的に参加してたんでその20人の人生をそれは今までの映画の作り方っていうのは一人の人で一本の映画を作ってきたんですけれども今回は20人いるからね一人の人で、えー、2時間をかけられないんですけれども短い時間の中で一人一人の人生をどこまでこう凝縮して。描くこことととができるかということは考えていましただから、えー、一人一人の人生を凝縮して描くという描きたいという思いと、えー、さっきから言っていますその人たちは私を入れてくれないもんだから、えー、なぜ入れてくれないのかというその矛盾の中で8年間悩みながら作ってきたのが今回のこの映画だった。So uh, the, <clears throat> the main、uh, characters or the, the、uh, person I uh, uh, chose as a、uh, main leading role is,、uh, as I said, very edgy, very strong people before, but not this time. These people are very、um, ordinary people who really、um, keep their privacy as their own. They don't really reveal it. And at the same time, I also know and are、uh, aware of the words like、uh, violence of the camera, right? They just Go into their privacy,、um, um, disregarding if they want、uh, the camera to step in or not. So, I think、uh, that kind of like a kind of violence or power or camera、uh, to sort of like a,、um, really dis- disregarding if they are ready or not, then just stepping. Maybe it's not really that, that way that it's supposed to be. And then, usually,、uh, what I'm trying to do with a camera is. Um, to really look into the person's、um, mind or feeling inside, and even before they themselves not realize how to express it, their feeling. Still, it's sort of like a very confusing inside, and、uh, not really come out as a very clear wordings. But that kind of state of mind, I, I usually really like grab it and capture it and with a camera and then express it. That's what I was doing before. But this time I really tried to do the same thing. But I have no way of doing that. I try, try many, many times, but they don't let me come into their, their heart. So that was uh, uh, the situation. And then so during this, actually I shoot this like eight years, eight years long. To deal with these people. Then during the time, I really a s k him many, many times why they don't want me to come into you know, their private area, a range, and then why they want to so much keep in themselves. So that was, I was sort of like、uh, trying to get an answer、um, uh, through this、uh, process. And at the same time, as you know, that this、uh, film is uh, uh, about a, a lawsuit, you know, there's sort of the battle. You know, through this、uh, lawsuit. So, actually, there is、uh, this kind of genre of the you know, a battle、uh, through the lawsuit. And、uh, some people think that, ah, that kind of genre, you know, kind of like a very,、um, you know, that already what's inside, kind of. So, I don't want to make it,、uh, my film fall into that kind of you know, category. And so, I, what I try to do is those people, around 20 people,、uh, join this.、Uh, The 20 people who are、uh, joined this battle of the lawsuit,、uh, I had a chance to you know,、uh, contact with them. So I you know, try my best to very detail to see、um, this day ordinary people join this battle and then this、uh, process, how it、uh, influenced and give effect. Affected to their life, and then because it's this time is like around 20 people, not instead of like one person before one character, but now it's like around 20 people's、um, life. So, of course, I cannot use each one for two hours, so I have to make it really like condensed of each you know, person's life for 
20 people but I try my best to how much I can condense but still can show that each person's uh, life what it is and how they you know change through this process and also I wanted to I also think can describe that why they don't let me come into the way that same as like I did before I think I could I, I did it in this film Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, I'd like to open the session to the floor. Uh, if you have a question, please raise your hand. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, 我想問一下你拍這部電影這部紀錄片前後創作有多久了 how long did you work on this film and what are the most difficult parts in making this documentary? And I'm sure that you, 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 his mother, the, you must have a lot of courage okay, to make this film. <笑><笑><笑> 編集に2年間。1年間です。So for the first question, how long does it uh, did it did you take to uh, to make this film? Okay, for shooting 8 years and editing 2 years and then to this uh, to to show it like a distribution uh, to to be able to actually show it. Uh, is one year. So total eleven years. Hey, two 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 years. Hey, だけどこういう普通の人をね、乗せても何じゃ、笛吹けと踊らすっていうでしょ。その人たちをカメラ向けててね、どうすりゃ面白いっていう風に思ってもらえる映像が撮れるかどうかがわからないっていうのが一番難
一つの集会とか人が集まるでしょその中でそんなに奥崎さんみたいな激しくはないけれどもその中で一番自分の感情を出してる人っていうのがいるわけで,でその人を見つけてその人の感情をとにかく丁寧に丁寧にカメラを回していくと。そして編集の時にそういうその人の感情が出てる映像をこう選んでこう並べていくつまり構成していくそれでこの映画が出来上がったんですよねだからそれは別に勇気というよりもあの映画を撮る時の最も基本的なあの誠実な態度だろうというふうに考えています。はい okay. um... You mentioned that you must have the you know, courage to do this, but to be honest, for me,、um, I don't really think that courage is, is, is really related with this. But as I mentioned,、um, I struggle to make a very interesting scene,、um, sort of like a very、uh, fascinating scene,、um, but it really didn't come up. So I just、um, try to continue to, you know, how I can do this, how about this, how about that, try my best. To get that kind of scene, that kind of moment, but didn't work out. So I continue, 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 continue on for eight years as a result. So, but during the time, gradually I started to understand that not like Mr. Okuzaki, kind of like a you know, very obvious action or, or expression of the、uh, feeling or emotion, no such kind of things. But when they get together in some kind of、uh, meeting, conference, gathering,、um, if I really pay you know, close attention to each one, then I can see that、oh, today this person has something inside, some emotion, strong feeling inside. Then I really focus on that person and really patiently shoot the person. Then uh, uh, after that, at the time of the stage of the、uh, editing, then uh, I, I uh, uh, try my best to select the most suitable、um, Scene or the, the frame to, to which is really like expressing that feeling that I, I felt. So then, you know, put together in the in right uh, uh, order in the in composition, and then、um, I think I, I started to understand that how I can capture that kind of、uh, moment. It's very subtle, but I started to do that. And I, I realized that this is a very basic and a very、uh, honest and very sincere approach. Uh, to the people who I'm shooting.、Uh, I'm just wonder, are there any scenes in your film that you're feeling fear?、Uh, be, uh, and also, that is maybe you wish the audience to be fear? Because in your previous work, your fear is a, a, a key concept in your previous films. この作品を作っている途中で自分が何かこうすごい怖い思いをしたっていうかそれしないと思,思った瞬間とかそういうのがありましたからそれからなんか観客にそういうなんかこう恐ろしさっていうものを感じてほしいっていうようなものが何かありましたかこの映画を作る多分,多分前の映画とかだったらそういう新聞、うん、とかこう新聞とかいうのがあるけどね、うん、なんかそういうものをちょっと感じたんで今回は他のやつか今回はとにかく本当に優しい人なんですよねで私はあのこの人たちと会ってると、えー、実はこの映画と、えー、並行しながらあの水俣病の撮影も一緒に撮,撮影してるんですよ。で水俣に撮影に行くでしょ。で水俣病っていうのは60数年経っていまだに解決してないので、えー、水俣病の運動をやってる人とか患者さんとかたくさんいますけどみんなもう心を閉じちゃってるんですよ。それで、えー、なんていうかその裁判闘争で勝ってる人もいるし負けてる人もいるしそれで考え方の違う人をこう排除するというような、えー、ことが行われてるんですよだから憎しみがこう満ち満ちているんですよねにあのあの水俣病はそうすると面白い映画を撮ろうと思って新潟あの水俣行くんですけど大体23日するとこちらをめげるんですよねそういう人に会うと。でめげた心を持って戦乱の人に会うと気持ちの優しい人たちばっかりなんでもう気持ちが癒されるそれぐらいに優しい人なんですでも私の意識の中でこの人たちが持っている優しさっていうのは権力に対しても優しいっていうのか
権力に対して怒らなきゃいけないというふうに私が思う場面でもこの人たちは許しちゃうという面が撮影の間に私感じ取ったのでこの人たちの持ってる優しさっていうのは私も大好きだけれども権力を許すという優しさには憎まないといけないというふうに思い続けてて映画を撮ったんですよ。だからそのこの優しいこの人たちを憎まなきゃいけないっていうふうに自分に言い聞かせることが一番つらかったです怖いんじゃないんですよ怖くはないけどつらいというかこの人たちを憎むじゃないですよねこの人たちに憎ませないといけない自分,自分も憎,む憎まないといけないし、えー、多くの日本人が日本人が持っている優しさあのえー、福島の時にあの水をもらうのに列をずっと並んで、えー、日本人は忍耐強くそのあなんていうかあの混乱もなく待ってるっていうことを世界の人は称賛したでしょあれはとんでもないとあ,あれをその世界の人から褒められるようじゃいけないんだとやっぱりああいう時は怒らないといけないというふうに私は思うので、えー、そういうその日本人の優しくて何でも権力を持っている人までも OKOK、OK OK、っていうかあるいは無関心だったりするところのものはやっぱり日本人一人一人が憎むということをしなきゃいけないというふうに考えているわけです。Okay. Uh, actually for this film、uh, maybe、uh, the person who asked the question saw the different film, the previous one, maybe relate with more things. So maybe there's some、uh, question about fear. But for this film, actually,、uh, not really、uh, related with、uh, fear, but rather、um, actually、uh, the people, those people, the victims, I, I should, those people are very, very nice hearted, good hearted people, to be honest. Very nice people. So, Um, how it's good is,、uh, is um, actually, I'm sh I was also shooting, and I have been also shooting with another those,、uh, social issue, which is about Miramata disease, you know, which is also sort of like a, a, some particular area of the people you know, got affected by、um, some uh, particular uh, factory you know,、uh, that uh, uh, released some.、Um, Toxic things, so they, they get affected. So that's a kind of similar situation, but different, totally different area. And they have been also work,、uh, fighting for this for a long time, like 60 years' time. So they are,、um, those are people who join this, you know, uh, 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 Larry and also the, the people who actually、uh, get ill. You know, all these people fighting, fighting, fighting for a long time, and they are really exhausted, and their heart is so closed. And then, because they, they did a lot of uh, different uh, uh, type uh, stage or, or different kind of、uh, lawsuit, they filed a lawsuit in a many, many different ways. Some people win, some people lost through this you know, process of the lawsuit. So, they, they sort of, so,、uh, not really as a one group, but they, within that situation, they sort of、um, separated each other. And then, some people find it out that person and me. The way of thinking is different. Then they started to exclude certain people. So they don't have unity. They're sort of fighting each other, kind of. And the, clo open,、uh, the heart is not open, the heart is closed. So that kind of situation. So every time I go to that shooting, and of course, before I go, okay, let me take very good、uh, scene, very good, you know, some、uh, film. Then I go there, but because of that whole entire atmosphere, it's sort of very negative and very depressing. So, even though I, I, I try my best, but after two, two to three days pass, my feeling is really down, and then oh my gosh, and then so、um, I, I gotta really to go back to, to refresh myself. So, he g o back to shooting this、uh, asbestos、uh, victim people. Then, as I said, they are very good hearted people, very kind, very nice. Uh, even though I was down, go there, meet them, and I feel so sort of refreshed through, through them. So, but at the same time, I really I love their、uh, benevolency, very kind, very good heart. I love it, but at the same time, through this process of battle you know, with, against the government, then I find out they are too kind. They are kind heart, good hearted, even t h e accept the government mistreatment as well. well You know, kind of like they don't really fight, they don't really get angry against the government. So, 
I struggle. What I struggle is like I like those people, the good nature. But at the same time, this good nature is not good. This has to be changed. So that conflict I have to have keep having it during this you know shooting time for eight years. So that was my um, process. Uh, that that was my uh, difficulty. So I know that even in uh, the the very uh, uh, Great earthquake, earthquake, and then Fukushima. You know those situation. Everybody knows. And then uh, the the TV crew came from the overseas, and then they they shoot those people even after disaster. They are really in, in order. They they stand on the line and waiting for the food, waiting for the water. You know they have no disaster. Even though environment is disaster, but they are really and follow the rule and to really obey what the people instruction. They just obey. So that is. All the uh, foreign media said, wow, this is really something. You know, they really praise. But I feel why that kind of situation, like this also, like some government didn't really do the right thing. So this, this, this disaster happened. So people is not shouldn't be always so available and so nice and kind. Sometimes when you have to angry, they have to get angry. So that I really have, I have personally have that really strong opinion. So it's bit difficult like, to deal with very good people but I feel they shouldn't be so good they should get angry so that was sort of my struggle well, uh, I think we need uh, I've been asked to close the session but I think I, we need one more question one last question uh, yes sorry hi Mr. Hara thank you for presenting your film and your over two previous works in this festival uh, I have one question. Um, in your screen talk, you just said that this film is a reflection of a Showa era, a Heisei era, which you compared with the Showa era. You said that it seems like the Showa era is not as much headstrong, much more um, eager person compared to a Heisei era. But surely in the film, the victims and the plaintiffs, much of their adult lives, uh, their work, was took place during the Heisei era, and also uh, your film indicates a live issue about ethnic Korean identity. So could you say that your film is just as much as a, a film about the Heisei and the Showa era? Or when you said that the film is a reflection of the Heisei era, are you actually talking about the government's reaction, the official conduct, the political theatrics that we witnessed in the final hour of the film? Thank you. This question is like more the political issue or to mm -hmm. more depict the difference of his and Yeah, the difference between the his and the show. The essential. Okay.えっと、この日、さっきおっしゃってたように、なんか平成の時と昭和の時と違うということで、そのその違いを表すという点でこう、これ作られたんですかね。それともこの子、どうですか、さっき言ったように権力の、あの、その。きちんとやってない福島とかあるんですかそうね。そういうようなことに対してその政治的な意味合いをもうちょっと出す意味で作られたのか出したかったのかどうかってことですか。どういうふうな意味合いがもっと強いのか、それともその地方派平成の違いが
絶対にこれは不可能ありえないことでしょだから、えー、絶えずあのなんていうか自分の感情というものが、えー、そういう政治のシステムの中で強いられた中で自分の感情というものがこう動いてるということに、えー、日,本日本人というかあの一人一人の個人は気が付くべきであると。日本人はあまりにもそのことに対して無頓着すぎるということに対して、えー、本当にこれでいいのかっていうのがこの映画の中に込めたメッセージだっていうふうに私は思ってるわけです。Then I have my own opinion. And of course, you know, every, any country, any society has their own political system, right? Then,、um, so anyone existing in society, it's impossible that you、uh, separate, totally separate yourself from your own society or the political system and existing.、Uh, that is impossible. You are also a part of this system. And then, Uh, so, those people who are within included in a, in a political system, actually, you conscious or unconsciously, you are under control of this system trying to give you the、uh, influence and affect you how to think, how to feel. So, that is the way that how it is. But with my observation, many Japanese people are even don't notice that. They think they, that's how I feel. But actually, it's under the structure. You are sort of make yourself to, you, you, are, you are made to feel in this way, to react whatever the way. So that even they don't understand, they don't really notice that. So that's, I feel, is that okay? Do you know what your situation You know, that is my message to, to include it in this film. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, so、uh, I'm sorry.、Uh, I like. I know people have more questions, but、uh, we are running out of time, and、uh, this place is close. So thank you so much again, Mr. Hara, and thank you so much for coming. And I hope we'll see you again at the other screens of Mr. Hara's two films. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.